everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really cute clutch bag which I've um, added this massive kind of concertina bow onto the front of it. So it's a big bow clutch bag. Um, it's a really nice size, 8x2, so you can get plenty of bits and pieces in this. Wrap it in some tissue obviously to cover it because it isn't completely closed on the top. The idea came from a bag I saw in the window of Kate Spade, who I love. and. Um, she had a very small slim line obviously it was all made out of leather but the idea is she just had this huge bow on the front and I thought I can replicate that in paper and here's my kind of take on it so really really nice I've made a few little differences on this I've cut away the the kind of um, I guess the corner so it is open but nothing would fall out of that I mean unless you put loose beads in or something then yes but if you've got it wrapped in tissue but I liked the way that you get this kind of little bit of the inside popping through the sides there and you can see it on that side there as well so a few little differences to this one and then the back there you can see what it looks like all opens up and you've got plenty of room inside there so that's what we're going to make so let me bring in today's stuff so I've already gone ahead and obviously prepped bits and pieces so I've done my kind of little center decoration there so it's just um, a piece of the, de the decorative paper that I'm using and then another piece of the same from the pack and then just a little diamante in the middle and I've just die cut them just from some circle dies that I've got um, for the larger one it is two and a half diameter and the smaller one is two oh sorry uh, one and three quarters okay so anything similar to that doesn't matter if it's bigger or smaller as long as you've got something and when I show you it you you can actually not even have that so we'll get to that bit in a minute okay so the paper pack I'm using is this lovely new ish <laughs> new for me first edition paper pack and it's the Fiesta Fever and it is gorgeous and I'm going to be using some of these for some Halloween projects because it's all based around the um, Festival of the Dead, so it's got these skulls, the really decorative skulls there. So these are going to be great for some Halloween projects. Um, and you've got these kind of ephemera pieces that you can kind of cut out. Um, again, the one there. But some of the just the bold prints and colours are gorgeous. You can see there, really, really lovely. And this is the one we're going to be using today. This one here. So pop that to one side. So first of all, we're going to make the actual bag. So really straightforward. You need a piece of 12 by 12. And I've already scored mine, so I'm just feeling, because it's a pattern paper here. Beautiful pattern, it's all like um, pinata. And when you hit it and all the sprinkles come out, it's kind of those tissue paper pieces. Okay, so along the 12 inch side, you want to score at five and seven. So that is our base that we've just created and our two sides. Okay, so five and seven, then rotate, and you then want to score at two and ten. Okay, so that's now given us this eight inch section here with these two inch sides. Okay, so that's the base. Then you need a piece of eight by twelve. You want a colour that's going to match. I'm using plain. I found that a plain colour for the bow against then a matching. Um, and background worked best because it made the bow really stand out okay so I've got some sun peering through now which is always the way okay so along the eight inch side you want to score at every quarter of an inch so quarter of an inch half an inch three quarters of an inch one inch then one and a quarter one and a half one and three quarters two and so on every quarter of an inch you want to go along until you have this effect and you can see all those lines and that's what we're going to follow when we do our concertina Okay, then you need one piece of two by four, and this is going to be our little kind of um, closure over the top. And then I've just got a piece running through the middle of the same paper, you know, that I'm using for the bow, and that is going to sit right in the centre there. And that piece measures one and a quarter by four. Okay. Again, it's optional. Once you see me put it together, then you can obviously change it. So get rid of your scoreboard. And now what we'll do first of all is go back to our 12 by 12 piece where we've done our gift bag. And we're just going to burnish all of those score lines. I love this paper because you're going to have such a nice inside pattern in this gift bag. So, and that one there. Okay, so you should have it like that. So you've got that two inch base 
and then you've got two sides and then you've got these two inch pieces here. So that's what we need. now need to do a bit of cutting. So I'm just gonna grab my scissors. And basically you wanna cut up the little, um, the sorry, the five and the seven inch score line. That's what you wanna cut up. Okay, so when we put it in the scoreboard, we scored at five and seven. I'm cutting up the five and the seven, but just to then that score line that we done at two and 10. So all you've got then is this little square, okay? I didn't realize just how busy this paper was gonna be on camera, but hopefully you can still make out what it is that I'm doing. Okay, so you can see now, I've just cut these two squares out here. So then you can bring up your sides like so. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, it's optional if you want to cut these out. So I've cut them out and it is allowed for this little kind of detail here. So you can just see inside there from where we pinched that in. But like I said, nothing's gonna fall out of that. So it's up to you. If you want to have that effect, then cut these away. If you don't, leave them in. So it's really, really straightforward. So now I'm gonna go and cut these very neatly, completely out. Okay, and again this side here. Okay, so I've now completely removed them so that when this one folds, when we fold, we need to add a score line in there, but then you'll see a little bit of that print. So it's just little bits like that that I like to change up sometimes. Okay, so now what we can do actually is grab your scoreboard, pop it back in so it's in this orientation so you've got these two square bits. If you've kept them in, that's fine. Um, but what you want to do now, it just will help with you folding, is score at one inch, down, and then just follow the track so you get back into the next bit, down, and then score at 11, down. Keep it in the track, keep everything nice and straight, and then continue. And it would just mean now, if you just burnish all of those so that they are valley folds, like so. There we go. And then when we bring this bag back up, choose what one you want to be your front and back. If it's the front, so this would be my front piece, you want these side pieces to be over the top. So for example, like so, bring that one in and fold that one in. Okay, and that's what's gonna give us the side of our little box or bag here. Okay, so that's that done for the minute. And then, Again, get rid of your scoreboard. Keep this piece now. This is the 8 by 12 that we've done all those score lines on. And basically, flip it over. And what you're going to do is just fold the first one down so it creates a valley fold. Okay. Then fold it back so you've got a mountain fold. Flip it over. Again, a valley fold. A mountain, sorry. Mountain, valley, mountain, valley. And you want to do that all the way along. Concertina fold until you get to the very end and it will give you your fan. And the trick is to do each one really nice and tight, pinching it together and then I'm folding it over and then flip it over again, pinch it together and fold it over. And that way you will keep it nice and straight. Okay, you have something like this. Now it wasn't until I started doing it that I realized it was a piece of eight by eight, not eight by 12. So I'll edit that in when I tell you what size you need. But basically just along any eight inch side, just score every quarter of an inch as I showed you. And basically now when you pinch that in in the middle and we pull this out, you can see there, you start to get a really nice fan. And once it's all in place, it will stay like this. Okay, so what we wanna do now is actually you need some little kind of scrap pieces. Let me just grab, I've got some bits here from when I cut it all down. So this is when, um, you know I said that you can have, um, you can either decorate it with a die cut like this over the top, or you can not have that. And that's what I mean by using this piece here. So this piece would match what I'm doing. I'm gonna flip it over and just keep it on the plain side here. Now, this is literally just scrap, I've just pulled it out of the bin, and this is one by four, okay? You won't need the four length, four inch length, but you might wanna have it wider. But you're, basically, this is, I'm just using this to um, keep my bow together. My intention is not for you to see any of this, because this is gonna be going over the top. But if you want to just have this piece, then you can do 
just watch what I do and how I put it together and then you can decide. So basically you want to pinch it in as central as you can. So you want to be around four inches inside. So let's just bring in my ruler here. So here is four inches, so I'm pretty bang on there. So that is the center. And then I can just kind of start pulling this out. You want to do, well this is one inch, so you want to have it so that you've got three and a half and four and a half. So I'm just going to pinch it a little bit more like so, just so I can create that kind of one inch area in the middle there for this to then sit like so. Okay, so once I stick it together it will make sense. So I've just popped my heat gun on there and I'm just going to let that get hot and just pop that to one side for the minute and we can come back to that. So I'm going to bring this back in again. So we've had it all folded now, we've burnished all of our sides. Again, decide whether you've got a preference to a front or the back. I'm just going to have this one as my front. So what I'm going to use is my one inch double sided tape. I'm just going to pop it on the insides of both of those kind of um, folded pieces. I can add a little bit of wet glue onto any other bits as well. And you can cover this all in wet glue if you would prefer. You can see that I'm just putting it either side of where we scored those side pieces earlier, like so. And then just grab my bone folder, make sure that's all nicely spread out. And I will add a little bit of wet glue at the tops there just so I've got a nice kind of finish. Uh, grab my poker tool and just take off backings and then just with a little bit of wet glue, a very very thin amount, I'm just going to add a bit just on the tops there where the, I've not quite got the double sided tape and again at the bottom there like so. I'm just going to bring it around that way actually and basically just kind of straighten them out a bit both of them okay so they're kind of back to being straight and just get them nicely lined up make sure you get your top nice and lined up and the bottom there and again, like so, pop it on its side and just use your ruler there. And then where you've got your fold, your score lines, you can just then kind of work that back in again. And it will give you that cool little bit there. Like I said, it's optional. If you don't like it, then don't do that bit. <laughs> and then again, with this one, just straighten them out. And just, again, concentrate on the top, make sure that's all nice and straight. So, again, just pinch them in and then you can close it up. Okay, look how cool that pattern is inside. So, that was really easy to do. And what I'm going to do is just trim away a little bit of the score line, which I can see. Like so, and see if I've got any on that one. Like so. Right, so that's all done. Now, I think my glue gun is, yep, ready to go. So, pinch that back basically before you pinch it just run a bead of glue so it kind of drops in all of those kind of valleys and then pinch it together okay don't worry if it forms a big splodge like that okay and when your fingers can withhold the heat that blob that was on the top I've just gone over it now pushed it in to all of those kind of gaps okay so now you can see it's starting to hold the bow together it's opening up on the back so we haven't done the back yet but that's what you want is to have it kind of like that. Flip it over and again kind of let it open a bit and just put some glue in the bits and then let's splodge some on top there. Again keeping it all within that one inch area and again once that glue is kind of still wet but warm and you, you can handle the heat I just push it all in. So now I've got that bow that doesn't move and again it's still just drying a little bit but you can really now start to pull out the fan like so and it will stay like that and then just to cover up obviously all of that um, glue that's when this piece here will come in handy so I would say cut it down to two you probably even cut off a bit more there put another little bead of glue pop it right in the center 
again, keep using your ruler. If you want to use wet glue here, but I've got three and a half. Three and a half is a little bit off that side. I could probably still lift that off and just move it over a little bit more. So that's completely dry, so I'll just just making sure one and a half, three and a half, three and a half. That's about that'll do. Okay, and then on the side bit here, the little quarter inch side, just again, I'm just putting another little bead of glue and just fold that in. And again, on that side there, just a little bead of glue, bring up the sides and then just fold whatever one it is you want down, like so. And then that other one. Now, like I said, you're not going to see any of this on my one. If this is all going to be visible on yours, then I would do it obviously neater then I've just done it, but I think even for a, a rushed um, attempt there, if I just take off the strings, you can see that still looks really nice. So you may just want to keep it like that. And again, just keep working all of your pieces until you get your bow nice and even, okay? So I am then gonna have that now stuck over the top of that, so you're not gonna see any of it. So let me just pop that out of the way. Next, you want to bring in those two pieces that we had here, and this is when we're going to use our magnetic, um, our magnets to make our magnetic closure. So, I've got a ton of these very thin magnets, which are rare earth ones, and they are, I believe they're one mil, yeah, one mil by uh, fifteen, probably sixteen actually. It's usually they are so one by sixteen. I'll share links, but these are really really good and because they're so thin you don't you know they, you don't get any of that bulk on your um, paper projects so first of all I would use a glue dot so I'm just bringing in I've got some large almost the same size glue dots I'm just going to pop one over my magnet and just take that one off and then I'm going to pop it on the bottom in the middle of this hang on a minute have I done that the right way yeah so it's going to go like so okay so it's gone at the bottom of this piece then this piece is going to stick over the top so what I'm going to do is add my double-sided tape right down through the middle like so and I'm also going to add a very very small um, bead of hot glue so let's just take that one off and that's just going to be where the magnet is so I'm just going to put a little just a small bead of hot glue pop that one down so it keeps that all in place and then just lie the rest up line it up even lie it down and line it up okay like so and you should just kind of see push it down so you, you do see the magnet because you're not going to see it once we stick that right at the bottom, like so. Okay, but we're going to attach this to our bag first because it makes it much, much easier to do it that way. I'm then, so that is the front that's going to come down on the front of the bag here. So this end bit, I'm just cornering, rounding off the corners. And then, just to help it all kind of um, fold over nicely, grab my ooh, other bone folder and just curl the card. And by doing that, it will help because I didn't want a fold line. I didn't want it to be, you know, a scored line and folded in half. I wanted to keep that nice and a curved effect there. All right. So now we've got that piece there, and then basically you want to line this up in the middle. So this is a uh, what did I say it was eight. So I would just lie your ruler over the top um, with a pencil. Just mark a kind of a line of four inches, okay? Just so you've got something there to mark it with. And then I came down, because um, that came down further, so it was one and a half. So from that four inch marker, come down at one and a half, and again, put another line. And you don't want to go any further than that one and a half. So with the end that's got the rounded edges, not the end with the magnet, we're going to stick that and you just want it to sit nice and centered and in line with that one and a half inch pencil mark. You don't, like I said, don't go down any further than that. So I'm gonna add some of my wet glue onto this, just so, just down to that one and a half inch. And then I'm gonna add it right across. 
so I know that, that it all sticks down like so. Again, it's only a lightweight bag, so you don't have to go crazy, crazy. And then just spend some time, you've got that wiggle room, just making sure that you get a nice even amount. But the main is to you know make sure it's right at that four inch, right in the middle. You just get that all stuck down. Okay, so that's now stuck down, so that is gonna come over like so, okay? So what you wanna do now is get your other magnet, pop that over and just drop the magnet inside and you can see now where it closes. So the magnet is in there just attaching itself already. So I'm gonna look in, I'm gonna now pinch and hold that magnet in place, she says. Let's just bring that down. So I do want it to come down a bit more. Bring it down a bit more. You want the magnet, I would say, to be, because you do want it to close your bag. So let's come down. So I'm gonna have my front piece two inches. All right, so you want the magnet to be down around the two inch mark. So what I'm gonna do is take that all out. I've got the magnet there. And then inside, again, mark at four inches. So it's gonna be hard for you to see this, but I'm just marking four inches in the middle and then now two inches down. Okay, like so. So just put a little cross. So you've got, there you can see my little pencil mark there, which is at four inches, and then I've just come down two inches. And all this is, is for you to put your magnet. So again, I've got a glue dot. Okay, so just stick that down inside with your glue dot. Make sure that you've got it in the right, it's up the right way so that the magnets do snap together. You don't want them to be on the negative so they push away from each other. Okay, so just make sure your magnets are the right way. So that's all nicely stuck down. And then I've just got a piece of one by one, one inch by one inch of the same color inside here. So this is just from the pieces that I cut off, these little two inch by two inch. Cut it down, pop a little glue dot in the middle, sorry, um, bead of hot glue and then I'm putting some wet glue around this and I'm just going to pop that inside just to cover the magnet. And because these are only one mil, I've got little glue, glue strings all over me, because it's only one millimetre you don't get any bulk so it's really easy to conceal your magnets. Like so, I'm just seeing they're a little bit crooked. <laughs> but it's concealed nonetheless, okay? So now when I bring that over, it snaps nicely into place, okay? Now we need to attach our bow, so I'm gonna pop my nice piece here. You might wanna do this, you might wanna still attach the bow, but I'm gonna pop this on now. I'm just putting a bead of glue there and just get that nice and centered about there. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna pop some hot glue now on this piece and pop this one just at the bottom of your tab that hangs over. I'm just going to lift that up and just make sure that's all nicely stuck down. So I've literally lined it up. You can see there with the very bottom of this piece, okay? And now when you bring that over, the weight of the bow as well also brings it down, but it just all snaps in to place. Take those strings out, they are everywhere. Bring in your sides a little bit there as well. Gorgeous bow. Again, I can still pull mine even more because on my um, other one, they almost touch the bottom. So there's that one there. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely love these. That's that one. Let's just move my, turn my glue gun off. And there's the other one. In fact, I think I might have done that with 12, 8 by 12, and scored along the 12 inch side and not the 8 inch side. <laughs> so there you go. If you use 8 by 8, you'll get that kind of bow. But I, I must have done, I totally forgot. I made this a few days prior and then filmed it afterwards. So. Um, I guess this one I've used, sorry I'm just trying to get the glue off there, it was yeah 12 by 8 and I must have scored then along the 12 inch side at every quarter of an inch rather than the 8 and then it gives you that really fuller bow that comes down but actually I think they both look 
really nice. So it's entirely up to you. I'll edit that into the video anyway, and then you can decide which one you want to do. So there you have it, two very lovely little clutch bags. Perfect for some nice little gifts. And the magnet holds it all into place, really nice. Yeah, I think they're great. So I hope you've enjoyed these ones. Hope you give them a go. Please share them on the Mixed Up Craft Facebook group. I love how many of you are sharing at the moment. It's becoming a really, really nice group. So do go across and join. And I will be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.